Welcome to the Stacked Supplement Podcast, the premier source for supplement news and reviews. We are back with another special edition interview episode of the Stack Podcast uh, with an, a really an up and coming brand that um, kind of has only just popped up on our radar. And the name is uh, Fusion Sports Performance. Uh, and I have the man behind the brand here with us, uh, Marat. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. So, I mean, as I said, this is a, it's a new, it's a new brand for me. I'm not overly familiar with it, um, but I've seen a lot from uh, other sites, a lot of people praising Mad Titan, which I believe is the most recent product you guys released. So uh, do you mind just going over, I guess, giving a brief rundown on the history of the brand, such as, uh, you know, when it came about um, and the products you launched with, and I guess the, the story about the last few years or what's the, how long you guys have been around? Sure. I'll try to keep it brief because I could go pretty long winded <laughs> with this. So I've been, you know, a gym rat my whole life. It started when I was a teenager playing hockey and training for hockey. Right. And then once I was done playing, I dove into just regular, you know, bro lifting at the gym, you know, every day was biceps or chest, right. You know, that, that whole thing. Yeah. And along with that came, you know, trying all the supplements on the market. Right. Back then, this was already like 18 years ago. So you're talking early 2000s. You know, the supplement industry was pretty wild back then. You know, you had things like ephedra and all these other things that, you know, people loved because how, you, how they made you feel, but they weren't the safest. So that's how I kind of got introduced to the whole world of supplements. But, you know, fast forward um, the last, you know, 15 years or so, I've been using different supplements on and off, not consistently because I wasn't really liking anything. And being in the industry now, I know that there are a lot of good brands, but being on the outside, you don't know. You just know what's in GNC, yeah. Vitamin Shop, right? And that's all. Generally, there's exceptions. Generally, it's all crap, right? So it came to a point where I switched my whole schedule life uh, schedule up for my whole life, basically, since having kids. So I work out early in the morning, like 6 a.m. So I went back to the world of pre-workouts. This has been a few years ago already. But I couldn't find anything that I liked, even from some of the popular brands um, online, some of the more respected brands. For me personally, I didn't like the products. I didn't like how they made me feel. So I started doing research little by little over a long period of time, started making my own pre-workout at home you know, get the bulk ingredients. About, mix everything when, up. When, when about was that? So you're saying the, uh, you started working out like, you know, 2000s. Um, when did you sort of, when did it kind of kick in? You started doing the research and you're like, I'm, I feel like I'm going to do something better. It was only like two years ago. Oh shit. I was like, yeah. I, uh, <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, when, I mean, you said, I when you said, repeat of... of, when you said repeat of brands that are online and I was like, that sounds recent. That sound, yeah, that's, that's not 2000s that's recent, anymore. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the switch to early morning workouts and all of that and going back to pre-workouts, because I didn't use them for a long time. That was recent, like two years ago. So, you know, bought bulk ingredients, learned through trial and error what works, what doesn't. And eventually along the way, I came up with a pretty good formula, you know, like a daily driver type of workout, nothing exotic, nothing crazy. I started letting friends try it because I was talking about it, they were interested, they really liked it. And at the same time, career wise, I needed to do something else. Because the job that I was having, it was coming down to a close. And I'm still working there now I'm doing double duty with the company and my day job. But my day job is coming to a close. So I needed to do something else. And, you know, I have such a love for this industry and exercise and fitness in general, that that started the process. I started looking for a manufacturer, which took a really long time. Yeah, you know, people yeah. think you could just jump in and make there's a lot out want. there. Yeah. Um, you know, there's a lot of manufacturers. that will just take your money. They're yeah. really, they're willing to do that, but you know, to try to do it the right way, it took a long time. Um, but during that time, you know, I nailed in the formula I wanted. Uh, first one that we formulated was this guy, super soldier pre-workout. This is yeah. our daily driver, you know, moderate caffeine, uh, under 250 milligrams, you know, and it's what works for me. It's what worked for a lot of people that I let try. It was going to originally just start with this and a BCAA product that grew. The BCAA product has like recovery ingredients as well. 
And we were able to make a whey protein that I was really happy with. I have digestive issues, so I can't take a whey protein that's yeah. not, that's like heavy on lactose or <coughs> a whey concentrate. I can't do. So I needed a very good quality protein to take myself. And I was able to develop that. So we launched with the Super Soldier pre-workout, Healing Factor post-workout, and our 100% whey protein Absolutely. isolate. Oh, wow. So yeah, it's... I, for some reason, I thought the brand was a little like slightly older, but, and the, I mean, the comprehensiveness is, is pretty solid. You guys cover most, well, not most, but <clears throat> all of the big workout categories. And so, yeah, you head up where you started with the Super Soldier Pre, Healing Factor, um, Amino, Protein. And then, then obviously the, the big one, and, and this is the product that I guess you've become pretty well known for, um, if I'm not mistaken. And the product that we've got trying this week um, is Mad Titan. So yep. you obviously put a lot of effort into Super Soldier. Um, as you're saying, took a lot of trial and error running through with manufacturers. So what made you do Mad Titan? And I guess the big key point here is what's, what's the main uh, differences uh, behind making Mad Titan versus uh, Super Soldier? So Mad Titan kind of came about due to customer demand. You know, we have, we're lucky that we have a lot of very loyal customers. You know, we have a very high retention rate and I'm super thankful for that. But people were wanting more energy from it, right? Because as I said, it's a moderate stim. So people were like double scooping that. And I said to myself that I need something that hits a little bit heavier, you know? I know that the high stim market is very popular, right? There's some ones that are very yeah. extreme. So this is kind of our entry into that high stim world. Uh, the main difference is the caffeine content. Super Soldier has under two, 250 milligrams total caffeine. Mad Titan has 400. Yeah. And that's just where it starts. You know, also added Araya Gerensis. Really love that ingredient, you know, the central nervous system stimulant. Um, kind of the effect of DMAA without it being banned, right? And it has a couple other differences than super soldier in terms of like pump focus endurance but all of those factors are in there as well the other question i i mean i had to ask is the the uh, avengers thing obviously yeah. like i thought it was i thought it was really really cool when i saw it i'm, I'm a huge uh, avengers fan i saw all of them uh, at a midnight screening, literally up until the point that I had my child two years ago. So <laughs> uh, I, I missed out. I think it was on uh, Endgame was the one I didn't see at midnight. Um, but I, I, I immediately, what's the, what was the, the driver behind? Because it's very different look to the rest of the lineup. Uh, yeah. the, the Super Soldier, Isolate, and Healing Factor, all similar um, branding. But you, you went a very different route with um, Fusion. And, and, and again, the, the Avengers, the uh, uh, in-game Infinity War kind of theme. Yeah. It's, it's subtle, but it's very obvious, I guess, if you know what it is. Exactly, yeah. So, like, look at the background here. <laughs> I did see I did see, this, I did see what, the artwork. What's funny about that Iron Man one with the Infinity Gauntlet, I've had that poster for, like, six years. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> so so I, was ahead of, I was ahead of the time. Yeah, man. Yeah. Um, yeah, obviously big into superheroes. And it's funny because a lot of people don't pick up on it unless they're very much into it. So it's kind of cool when people do a, pick up on it. I thought it was like as, as obvious as... I, yeah, it's super I gave obvious, it, right? I gave it to my friend yesterday. I said, I have this pre-work. And he's like, he's like holy shit, is that Thanos' is pre-work? I was like, yeah, yeah. yeah man. I mean, <laughs> yeah, so, you know, the original release had the, you know, one theme. Um, you know, Super Soldier is obviously Captain America. Right? Yeah, Super yeah, Soldier yeah. Serum. Um, gave a little ode to my dude Wolverine with Healing Factor. Yeah, I love Wolverine as well. Yeah. You didn't, you didn't want to do it with the protein? You know, the, I'm sure you could have got something out of it. I'm sure you could have. Yeah, you know, I thought I was trying to think of all these different things for the protein, but they all just came out kind of cheesy. That's kind, so, of, the, that's kind of the thing, isn't it? <laughs> I know, I know it is, but. You know, I wanted it to be obvious that, hey, this is the protein, you know? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then, you know, Mad Titan comes along. Yeah. Comes out through the portal with a different look, different than the rest uh, of them. Oh, okay. Here, you know? So is there a plan to 
do the other products and rebrand them similar or is it there there will be yeah reformulation they're in the works um tiny improvements but to keep the heart of the products because you know people do like them so not huge changes but just small bits to improve on them a little bit i was gonna say the it would be cool to see the whole complete because the because the look as well i said it's, it stands out straight away the you know avengers is screwed to me I think it would be really nice to see that whole lineup have that similarity. You could even theme them based on that. But um, so the the Mad Titan is obviously your most recent one, and it's I guess as soon as you came out with those other three, Mad Titan was the is the only supplement you've done that you've sort of created after you've been in the industry for well not been in the industry but you've had, been in a brand. Yeah. For, for, for a good amount of time. And it's based on consumer demand, which makes sense. High stem pre-workouts, uh, we get it all the time. And it's, it's always so subjective. People, I say this is moderate stem and people are like, that's, that's light. I say this is high that's stem. True. And they say I double scoop that. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. It's, uh, are there any other categories you've seen where, or even uh, types of supplements that people have requested as fans of, of Fusion where you're just like, shit I, i'm gonna have to do that or is there or is it gonna be more i guess free flowing that just categories of the game you yourself think you uh, need to be in there for sure is plans for other lines like if you go on the website you know this is under the performance line right this is in the gym playing sports this is what you want to take there's also going to be a health line uh, we've gotten many requests for things like you know fish oils multivitamins things of that nature I'm going to wait on those until I could do something that's not just the Generic. same as everybody yeah. else. Because, you know, while it would be nice that people want to buy a specific product from me, that is great. But I need to have it be something that somebody would buy it if they don't know me already. You want to give them a reason. Exactly. Yeah. You know, um, and also in the works is more flavors. You know, we only have two flavors of protein right now, vanilla ice cream and frosted cinnamon roll. And they're, absolutely amazing flavors but a lot of people want chocolate oh dude you know? you're talking to they the, don't care you're talking they don't to, care the, how, to the chocolate yeah. fan right I'm they not don't care how good your person. vanilla is if they want chocolate yep yep and I, we would have had a chocolate out already it was already developed by the manufacturer tasted everything was set to go then covid hit yeah um and that kind of derailed everything for a little bit so i'm hoping early 2021 we get that chocolate in because i'm not a big chocolate protein guy but it tasted amazing i am an uh, purely a chocolate person yeah. <laughs> so we, i had this discussion with with the uh, the podcast guys i do on the final scoop yesterday and they were talking about um and i was like vanilla is just i mean it's what it's the word people use to describe plain yeah. for me and i'm like that's what it tastes like to me i know I, i'm I'm chocolate through and through I'm with you. I was, um, before I made my <coughs> own, there was one brand that I was using exclusively because it was another one that was very good quality, didn't upset my stomach, but I didn't use the vanilla. I used kind of like the exotic flavors, you know? Yeah. Uh, they don't sell as well. Heard that. That. Yeah, they don't. No, they don't. Because people want vanilla or chocolate. Yes, yeah. Food. So, which is great because our vanilla, you know, people buy like five at a time and they stock up on which is awesome. That's what you want as yeah. a company. But the vanilla is so good that I find myself using it more than the cinnamon roll now on my own at home. Wow. So, huh. and you know, I have all, I have as much as I want. I could use whatever I yeah. want. And I'm like, mm, vanilla. I do say that I don't like vanilla, but there have been two occasions in the history of me trying supplements where someone sent me a vanilla and I take it. I'm like, holy shit. I like this vanilla. It's only two though out of the, yeah hundreds have tried yeah. is there a go is there a goal or a, i guess you were just talking about unique flavors creative flavors which we've seen a mountain of uh you've got i don't even know where to start i was just talking about a protein bar yesterday it's a, a christmas toffee it's a it's a swedish treat that the swedish brands come out with i mean the unique flavors are endless in this industry not to mention the collaborations that are kind of coming out with a lot of people um, uh, Beyond Raw Labs, they just did it with an authentic Jolly Rancher or something. It was um, pretty damn cool. Uh, people teaming up with everyone. Uh, there's a Japanese brand teaming up with Street Fighter. 
they have I saw that, I, I saw that I, on your email actually those guys do that they're, they're japanese brand I, I mean i don't speak to them i very limited communication but like they almost go under a radar and they just do a, they do collaborations like every two weeks a month now True. teaming up with anime pop culture icons they did a hello kitty i'm like wow, but you don't know, but the flavors are also so strange like they do uh they like they do green tea they do sake mm. they yeah. do um one of them was like a hibiscus flower it was like they do these Japanese company yeah so obviously their flavors are going to kill it over there but yeah, to me i'm just yeah, like sure. when i translate it i'm expecting it to say like strawberry yeah. and it's not it's it's yeah, just, i wouldn't buy a green tea person no, person no, no, they have they have them there but yeah. like one of the most popular ones they did was like a super tart lemon and mm. i was like that's a that's not a protein flavor but anyway <laughs> my point is all these creative flavors have you thought about doing something uh not too normal i guess for the protein and then i mean even though the mad titan has uh, good flavors have you thought about because that is one of the big differentiators these days is companies will come up with a formula that's very similar to someone else or mm-hmm. i mean it's hard to make your pre-workout mm-hmm. uh stand out but they'll do a flavor that i guess pushes it over the edge and gets people in because they're like holy shit i would love to try that if yeah, so what about that? And what's funny is like I'm kind of conflicted on it because being as somebody, you know, I've been training so long, and a lot of industry insiders will agree the taste of the pre workout oh, doesn't yeah. really matter, dude. You're talking, you know? I, I, I dry scoop mine, yeah. I mean, the taste doesn't really matter, it's got to be palatable. Yeah. Like when I first formulated it, it wasn't flavored, and I don't know oh, if you've ever tried the raw ingredients, I have it's, tried it raw. is a nightmare, yeah. I don't it's know how just to get you stomach that with zero. I had to. Oh, god <laughs> damn it! Yeah, you know, for science, right? <laughs> but, yeah, for science. <laughs> you know, and a lot of times when I locally, you know, we do very well. You know, people see me at the gym and all that, so you know, it's um, easier sell for me locally when people see me working out. They ask, "Oh, what do you use?" And I tell them about my company. It's an easy sell. When I see them the next time, I ask them how they like it. They're like, "Oh, the flavor is great." I'm like that's great but how did you yeah. like the effects but like, oh my energy was great you know i had an awesome pump so a lot of people lead with flavor so i understand why flavor is important as far as like yeah we have plans to come out with more flavors just to give people more options because you know people do get bored of the same thing as far as like those collaborations and stuff we're not there yet financially oh yeah no i was just yeah that's a that's a it is definitely one of the bigger player things to do, obviously. it's a- Yeah, and I mean, you have these brands that are brand new coming out with legit flavor collaborations. And I wonder, like, all right, I see this guy is the owner of this company, but where's the money coming from, you know? A lot of these guys have been uh, in the industry for a while. So yeah. um, especially the guys that do some collaboration. So it does make sense. And they will have a lot of connections and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, but it's it's interesting, and I thought that was honestly the one thing that I've always wanted to see, and I guess that's why I, I'm a big fan of that Japanese brand who's teaming up with like Street Fighter and Gundam and all that stuff. Yeah, I've always wanted to see Avengers and Marvel supplements, right? Yeah, that, oh my god, I can't even I imagine the cost to, of that dealing with Disney. I, yeah, see, I spoke to someone uh, in who had done some stuff with them, and they said that they that they pitched it at them. And they were just like, and at first I was like, genius, this, you guys need to do this. A Hulk gainer, custom cut the tub to Hulk's fist. Oh my God, Mm. this would be fantastic. And then they said, it was like, they didn't even get in the room. They were like, it's a no. And then I was like, and I I said, but I said, why? And they said, think about it, man. Like just, you don't even need to think about that long. When you realize it's Disney, like Disney, Disney, they are wholeheartedly family and kids, right? And they're kind of, stuff that you hear on the on tv about bad supplements because right. i mean it's not right. it's not yeah, the I mean, best thing yeah how many pro athletes get popped on a test yeah. because of like a tainted supplement you know when they like, mentioned it that way i was like oh yes no, yeah they, I, I i wouldn't think disney would touch that so i'm like and i even as if you hadn't thought about it i was like what if you just do and i'm like no because there's always the chance that they yeah. get roped in and you can bet your money that any news agency that you know 
has something that ropes in Disney, it'll be Disney's supplement, blah, blah, blah. And it will change. There won't be a, this supplement. It will become theirs. It's, uh, yeah, yeah. From that I wonder on that front if you pitched Marvel Comics and not Disney. You know, they're point. separate. Yeah, that's a good point. Well, I mean, yeah. you've got uh, Olymp did Dragon Ball Z, which was the mm -hmm. best thing I thought I've seen in terms of collabs. And when we shared that, they reached millions, millions. It was insane. And wow. they were telling me they had people messaging them at the expo being like, hey, can we buy the empty tub? We don't want it. Ah, oh, that's hilarious. And I was like, yeah. oh my God. And, yeah. and that makes sense though, because I mean, I'm assuming you know, you're, you're very familiar with Dragon Ball. Oh, yeah. um, if, you, if you're at all familiar with uh, Marvel, you'll be with Dragon Ball Universe. And, and that makes sense, to be honest, with the amount of yeah. following that thing has. Oh yeah, I mean, I originally thought about doing a Dragon Ball, um, <laughs> I originally thought about doing a Dragon Ball theme because the company's called Fusion, you know? Yeah. I, but, yeah. you know, I did Fusion for a different reason. I had Spinal Fusion six years ago, so... Oh, wow. Why, oh, yeah, that's shit. why the brand is Fusion Sports Performance. Oh, that is awesome. Look at that. Yeah. Is there any... Um, I, obviously, you, it's, it's been a, a tough year. Uh, everyone's in lockdown. Most people, countries have been in lockdown doing, doing nothing. Have you been able to i guess hunker down and put in some planning effort into another supplement or is it still gonna like mad titans obviously been a hit for you guys and it's it's what 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 got me connected uh are there, are there any plans for new releases with teasing or is it for 2020 just so let's just let's just keep driving these ones yeah mad titan actually came out during the lockdown so yeah i was one because when i heard I know, about it i know I heard about and it, and it, when I heard about it, it was like it's hard to tell because I think I saw it on Reviews Bros. Mm -hmm. Those guys are, are are great. And see, the thing is, is that they sometimes review products that have been out for a while. Yeah. So for me, I, I sort of see them and I'm like, oh, like it's just one of those ones that I had because there's mountains of brands out there that you haven't yeah, heard of. They they came out with their review like two weeks after they got it. So. Oh, okay, so it was relatively new. Yeah, yeah, it was nice. recent. I mean, we had the plans. For Mad Titan for a while, and it was in production when the when the lockdown hit. Oh well, that's that's uh, that's great. That's that could have that could have been yeah, I know. potentially <laughs> badly timed. Yeah. So, I mean, despite that, and it speaks to the product and it speaks to the customers. Uh, Mad Titan still did very well despite you know the gyms not being open in most places. Yeah, that would be. I guess if it came out during lockdown. So how did it? Did it did it meet expect? I mean, obviously it, it, it meet expectations, but did it do as well as you had hoped? Like compared to uh, Super Soldier, um, considering the time, it yeah. did better than I was expecting for sure. Oh, okay, yeah. just uh, as you yeah. say, gyms were closed. People were. That was the one thing I was stopped using. Really, was uh, yeah pre workout. Yeah, I mean, who really needs a pre workout for your like body weight and bands workout? You know. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's what most people were doing until they were able to get like equipment at home or, you know, whatever it was. A lot of places gyms opened before others. You know, I'm in New Jersey in the states, and our gyms just opened like two weeks ago. Wow, yeah, it was a, uh, it was a big, um, big difference for me. I think when we were doing uh, go from pre workouts most days to. Uh, absolutely nothing sitting on my ass it was it was it was kind of eye of the, uh basically and then but i knew every day that we were in lockdown and doing nothing it was just going to be a mountain of fun when i came out on the other end and oh my god it was so good getting that that first pre-workout when i come out the other side how long were your gym shut for over there um we were so I was I was I was in a very bad position as I mentioned before we started the podcast. We flew from Finland straight back to New Zealand. The whole plan of the year was ruined, and uh, on the way down, well, on the way back, uh, New Zealand introduced a lockdown thing where if you came from any other country, you had to stay in lockdown by yourself for two weeks. Yeah. And we only found out about this on the plane. So I had to book a, a place separate from where I was. Oh and then God. we, so we locked down. And then during that lockdown, that self-imposed lockdown, the country then went into full lockdown oh for 
I think it was seven or eight weeks. I could be wrong. Okay. So I went from two to 10 and roughly, and then gyms weren't open. We went down like to like a level and then gyms weren't open until the next level. So I think mm-hmm. we were out for another two to three, I guess. But the thing was, I remember seeing all these videos on YouTube and Instagram and people were saying, be smart. Don't go back into it. Like trying to lift big, man, yeah. I, I was so dumb. I was so dumb, but I was like, I was sitting there go, and I watched so many of these videos. It's like, go back calm. Don't be stupid. Nope. Nope. I went back and yeah. I was trying to do the big weights that I was doing before. And I, it's hard. It's hard. Like, you know, well, I got back to it in about two, three weeks, which was fantastic. Cause I thought yes. I was going to take me, uh, like months. My yeah. theory was three months out, three months to get back in. But no, that was not, yeah. that was not true. How about you guys? Were you in lockdown or out of gyms? Oh yeah. You said it just oh, opened. Yeah. <laughs> Man, it is one of the strictest, worst lockdowns are here in New Jersey, New York, and California. So, you know, it's opinions, like opinions on the government. Yeah, it was like over five months. Shit. Restaurants, restaurants just opened for indoor dining a week ago. Did you have, did you have an alternative? I, you know, I, when I talk about it, I feel like I'm rubbing it into people's faces and I'm really not. I'm just really fortunate that like seven years ago, I started building a garage gym. Genius. So God, I wish I was. And it was just because I didn't have, <clears throat> at that point, I didn't have time to go to the gym all the time, right? This was before yeah. I switched to early mornings. So when lockdown hit, I had everything I needed already. God damn, that's genius. Yeah. Uh, squat rack more weight than i could lift dumbbells i had everything that's key and, is the, yeah is the and rack. during the lockdown i picked up a couple of you know new toys like i got a deadlift bar um today Damn. i actually picked up locally a power bar a buddy of mine had a lap pull down tower that didn't fit in his current house so i have it now you know recently i got an echo bike from rogue fitness and so, you just went you just turned yourself into a gym yeah, yeah. I built a platform, like I gutted my garage, took out some cabinets, tables, everything. Well, so. I suppose during lockdown you didn't have you didn't really have much to do, but Exactly. I was yeah, I was going crazy for, for the for the twelve weeks. I, I know people were saying, Do uh do some do some just light stuff and I just could not get motivated. I saw some videos on Instagram where people were using like ropes and pulleys and I was just like yeah. I gave it a try. I said, like, no, this is not the same. I'm just going to treat this yeah. like an injury and yep. take the time off. And I, I, I would have been the exact same because I even did, you know, a couple of videos like at home workout ideas, right? I put them up on YouTube, send them out to my email list. And even after like two of them, I was like, this is dumb. <laughs> you know, people are going to do this maybe like once, twice, and then they're going to get bored of it. You know, it's it was, not the same. It was funny because I was disconnected a bit and I remember scrolling through one day and just, you know, like you see some videos on YouTube of like, or Instagram of people doing like weird exercises or like really over the top exercises. And someone who's not a fitness fanatic will look at them and be like, why are you doing such stupid shit for biceps? Right. Yeah, I and I remember fanatic and I think the same thing staying like, disconnected from instagram for so long and not going to the gym and then i went i, went, I logged in one day scrolled through and i saw these guys holding bands uh um in a car park and they were just doing shirts off and they were just doing bicep curls with the with the band and then then they did uh, shoulder raises one was pushing down on his hands and the other guy was pushing against his hands yeah and i just remember watching it going God damn it, man! People who like don't lift and see this are gonna think the entire fitness community is a bit obsessed. I know, I know. I thought it was so funny. Yeah, and listen, was... I if I didn't have my equipment at home, I might have been one of those guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, 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 we tried. I was just like, no, I need, I needed yeah. a spot, but I needed, so I just took the time off. So, again, you guys are uh, two years old. Uh, when 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 did the debut? When was the what was the month you guys launched? Fourth of July, twenty nineteen. Oh, the well, official, uh, was oh, the official so it's, product launch. It's not even two years. It's like no, but yeah. one. Yep. 
one and one year. and two. Holy shit! Yep. Yep. So you came out with Mad Titan like a year, uh, not even that, ten months after you yeah. actually. It was gonna be exactly a year. It was gonna be on the year anniversary, but the manufacturing process Obviously. went very quickly yeah. because nobody else is coming out with stuff. So we got this stuff like two months before we were expecting. Oh, okay, is there? So you said that you uh, you came up with the idea based on consumer demand and, and just you know, sort of need for uh, a heist and pre. When a bounce did that come? Because it's, I mean if you'd been working on it for, I guess, three, four months, so you, mm -hmm. you had to have seen that demand pretty quickly on after pretty launch. Pretty quickly, pretty quickly. Wow. Yeah, yeah. like maybe but, like six months because, you know, the demographic that we're going after, originally it wasn't like the high STEM crowd. It was um, basically people like me, you know, people who have careers, who have families, kids that are busy, but still make fitness their priority. So a lot of those people don't want a smack in the face of caffeine. You know, they just want something that'll give them a little bit of a push so they can get going. Yeah. So that was the original intention of the products. Wow. So yeah, I guess for, for I guess the last question I have and to, to, to wrap the episode up is, so you've moved pretty damn quickly, as I said, started just over a year ago, launched your, your fourth product, which was the first one since launch in about eight to 10 months after debut. Um, where to from here? What are the, obviously you just came out of lockdown. So it's a shit question. It's a shit yeah. time. <laughs> yeah. But where do you see uh, fusion? Let's say a year from now, which again is double the age it currently is. Yeah. Where do you see the brand? Uh, you know, hopefully things get back to normal yeah. quickly and soon and don't revert back to another lockdown. That's what really I'm afraid of business wise. So we'll see, but you know, I see definitely more flavors. Um, there is actually, I didn't mention it before, we have a pump product in development. It's a standalone pill product. It's already done, formulated, tested, everything as well. Um, <laughs> a little bit of a drama with that because I tested it with a couple of manufacturers and one manufacturer actually stole my formula. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> So again, as we were talking about manufacturers aren't, yeah, aren't, aren't the easiest yeah, to fight. Yeah. So, you know, that'll be coming along in the future that, you know, stackable with either of our pre-workouts just to get more of a pump. So that'll be on the horizon, more flavors, like I said, and then I hope to be able to go into that health line. You know, a lot of people were requesting fat burners, testosterone boosters, but in my opinion, and my opinion could change. I don't think those products work all that well. You know, I think most of the stuff that's on the market right now for fat burners or testosterone boosters are crap and don't do what they say they do. So I'm not just going to come out with something just to have it in my line, you know. So if I come across some ingredients that are promising, maybe that could change. You know, but right now that's the plan. Go over to the health line improve the formulas of our super soldier and healing factor. You know, those are already mapped out, just waiting uh, to get closer through this last batch of orders. And then, you know, we'll kind of change up the formula a little bit, kind of rebrand to match this guy. It will be, you know, I, you're I, right. I, I do love the way this one that. looks. Yeah, I, I do love the way this one looks. When my designer came up with this, I was blown away. So those are the plans for, you know, the next year. Awesome. Well, thank you for that. And uh, maybe we'll have you on back, uh, back on again soon when, when uh, you've got the full, full rebrand uh, and even something new, even the pump product. Yeah, that'd be awesome.